much uh, praise did you get for that block on the uh, Rico's touchdown run from NC State? You know, a, lot of the, a lot of the coaches said uh, a lot to me. I know I didn't have the most flashy of games as far as stats and stuff like that, but that's just the type of player I am. Whatever I'm asked to do, I'm going to do it as hard as I can. Do you take a, a, as much pride in your blocking as in, as in the touchdown catches? Absolutely, because, I mean, those blocks free up touchdowns and they free up Jake to make decisions to throw the ball down the field. So, like I said, whatever I'm asked to do, I'm going to do it as hard as I can. Coach has said that was a part of your game that needed development and you worked on it the offseason. How fulfilling did that feel to be able to showcase that in the game? You know, it was nice because, I mean, that defensive front's probably as good as any that we'll face this season. So being able to, you know, take what I did this offseason with our assistant, you know, put some stuff on the field, and it was, it was good. Hayden, this team had trouble <coughs> on the road last year. You were at a neutral site this week. I don't know how comparable those two things are, mm -hmm. but do you think that will be an issue going to the other Columbia? No, I don't. I mean, since then, I mean, we're a year experienced. I mean, we we know that we have some stuff to work on. I mean, we didn't play that great on the road last year, but you know, coach has done some stuff in practice with crowd noise and stuff like that, and we've definitely done better communicating and getting on the same page. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that. I think we'll be all right. What was the volume like in Charlotte in terms of being able to hear and when you had the ball? And um, not, not like a road game. Probably not as comparable to a road game. I mean, Missouri will probably be a lot louder than that. I mean, it was definitely. I mean, it wasn't as quiet as practice, but it was loud. I mean, but it won't be like Missouri will be. Hey, what, do you think so what was the mood of the team this morning at practice after opening the season uh, with the win against a tough opponent? You know, guys are, guys are happy, but I mean, coach preaches, you know, turn the page. You know, it's 1-0 this week. We're focused on Missouri. Got to put that game behind us. I mean, as well as we played, you know, we just got to put it behind us. Hayden, only one cash by a tight end this week. Do you feel like that's a good thing that you guys didn't show everything you can do in the first game? You know, I didn't really think about it like that, but I mean, maybe. I mean, like I said, whatever coach has in the game plan, if he wants to use us in pass protection, if he wants to use us in the run game, if he wants to stretch the field with us, I mean, we're going to do it. I mean, we're not a selfish bunch. I mean, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. A lot of teams use the first week to play, you know, FCS teams or low-level Division One teams. You guys played a very legitimate defense and a legitimate Power Five team. How much better do you feel about passing that test? That's huge. This week. That's just huge for our confidence, you know. Because, like you said, a lot of teams open up with a softer opponent, and then we open up with NC State, and it just—I mean—it makes our off season better, it makes our week one focus better, and then it just—I mean—it makes us more confident going into week two. As an offensive player, is there any more juice for a week where people expect it to be a shootout, a you want real shootout? No, I'm sure in the skill positions. I mean, Debo and Brian and myself and the running backs. I'm sure that's in the back of our minds a little bit. But I mean, like I said. If coach wants to dial it up and wants to go air it out, I mean, we're going to do it. If he wants to go run it down their throat and hold on to possessions and keep them off the field, you know, we're going to do that too, whatever, whatever it takes to win. With a game under your guys' belt as an offense, what do you think is the biggest difference from maybe this year from last year? In my opinion, I mean, last year we didn't really, I mean, consistently get the offense rolling like we wanted to. And then this year, I mean, Jake's throwing the ball over the field and we're moving the ball and we're maintaining drives. You know, I just think that's going to be huge for our confidence as a unit going forward. Did life, did life change for you at all with, with how many three receiver sets you guys played uh, last week as compared to last year? Um, a little bit, but I mean, I think Coach knows what I'm capable of, and he knows that he needs to get the ball to all of us you know, in space because we're all on our offense able to make plays down the field. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'm beating a dead horse, but I mean, whatever, I'm going to do whatever Coach wants me to do. You know, if that's blocking, running routes, I mean, I'm going to do it. And, and did you stay in a little more just because of how good that pass rush was? I think so. I think that just took some pressure off our offensive line. And then when Coach saw what I was able to do and, you know, hold my own out there, I mean, didn't want to really go away from it. Were you able to watch any other college football games this weekend? I watched a little bit of the, um, the UCLA Texas A&M game. That was, that was interesting to see. Were you, as you watched them, were you uh, comparing USC to um, other teams and how they look in their opening game? I looked at that a little bit. I mean, I saw, um, like I said, I saw UCLA play, A&M, I saw Alabama play. You know, they're always impressive. And in Florida State, their defenses are flying around. You know, and I mean, with our offense and what we're hopefully able to do, I think, I mean, it'd be fun to maybe see us against one of those top tier teams one day.